The nociceptin opioid peptide receptor, also known as the nociceptin slash orphan and FQ receptor or kappa type 3 opioid receptor, is a protein that in humans is encoded by the OPRL1 gene. The nociceptin receptor is a member of the opioid subfamily of G-protein coupled receptors whose natural ligand is the 17-amino acid neuropeptide known as nociceptin. This receptor is involved in the regulation of numerous brain activities, particularly instinctive and emotional behaviors. Antagonists targeting NOP are under investigation for their role as treatments for depression and Parkinson's disease, whereas NOP agonists have been shown to act as powerful, non-addictive painkillers in non-human primates. Although NOP shares high sequence identity with the classical opioid receptors MUOP, CAPOP, and DELTA-OP, it possesses little or no affinity for opioid peptides or morphine-like compounds. Likewise, classical opioid receptors possess little affinity towards NOP's endogenous ligand nociceptin, which is structurally related to dynorphin A. In 1994, Malaro et al. cloned a receptor that was highly homologous to the classical opioid receptors mu or, kappa or, and delta or that came to be known as the nociceptin opioid peptide receptor. As these classical opioid receptors were identified 30 years earlier in the mid-1960s, the physiological and pharmacological characterization of NOP as well as therapeutic development targeting this receptor remain decades behind. Although research on NOP has blossomed into its own subfield, the lack of widespread knowledge of NOP's existence means that it is commonly omitted from studies that investigate the OP family, despite its promising role as a therapeutic target. Like most G-protein coupled receptors, NOP signals through canonical G-proteins upon activation. G-proteins are heterotrimeric complexes consisting of alpha, beta, and gamma subunits. NOP signals through a variety of G-alpha subtypes that trigger diverse downstream signaling cascades. NOP coupling to G-alpha-I or G-alpha-O subunits leads to an inhibition of adenyl cyclus causing an intracellular decrease in cyclic adenosine monophosphate levels, an important second messenger for many signal transduction pathways. NOP acting through G-alpha-IO pathways has also been shown to activate phospholipase A2, thereby initiating mitogen-activated protein kinase signaling cascades. In contrast to classical OPS, NOP also couples to pertussis toxin insensitive subtypes G-alpha-Z, G-alpha-14, and G-alpha-16, as well as potentially to G-alpha-12 and G-alpha-S. Activation of NOP's canonical beta arrestin pathway causes receptor phosphorylation, internalization, and eventual downregulation and recycling. NOP activation also causes indirect inhibition of opioid receptors MOP and COP, resulting in anti-opioid activity in certain tissues. Additionally, NOP activation leads to the activation of potassium channels and an inhibition of calcium channels which collectively inhibit neuronal firing. Nociceptin controls a wide range of biological functions ranging from nociception to food intake, from memory processes to cardiovascular and renal functions. From spontaneous locomotor activity to gastrointestinal motility, from anxiety to the control of neurotransmitter release at peripheral and central sites. Pain circuitry The outcome of NOP activation on the brain's pain circuitry is site-specific. Within the central nervous system its action can be either similar or opposite to those of opioids depending on their location. In animal models, activation of NOP in the brain stem and higher brain regions has mixed action, resulting in overall anti-opioid activity. NOP activation of the spinal cord and peripheral nervous system results in morphine-comparable analgesia in non-human primates. Reward circuitry NOP is highly expressed in every node of the mesocortical limbic reward circuitry. Unlike MOP agonists such as codeine and morphine, NOP agonists do not have reinforcing effects. Nociceptin is thought to be an endogenous antagonist of dopamine transport that may act either directly on dopamine or by inhibiting GABA to affect dopamine levels. In animal models, the result of NOP activation in the central nervous system has been shown to eliminate condition place preference induced by morphine, cocaine, alcohol, and methamphetamine. Recent studies indicate that targeting NOP is a promising alternative route to relieving pain without the deleterious side effects of traditional MOP-activating opioid therapies. In primates, specifically activating NOP through systemic or intrathecal administration induces long-lasting, morphine-comparable analgesia without causing itch, respiratory depression, or the reinforcing effects that lead to addiction in an intravenous self-administration paradigm, thus eliminating all of the serious side effects of current opioid therapies. 
Several commonly used opioid drugs including atorphine and buprenorphine have been demonstrated to bind to nociceptin receptors, but this binding is relatively insignificant compared to their activity at other opioid receptors in the acute setting. Chronic administration of nociceptin receptor agonists results in an attenuation of the analgesic and anti-allodynic effects of opiates. This mechanism inhibits the action of endogenous opioids as well, resulting in an increase in pain severity, depression, and both physical and psychological opiate dependence following chronic nopra agonist administration. Administration of the nopra antagonist SB612111 has been shown to inhibit this process. More recently a range of selective ligands for NOP have been developed, which show little or no affinity to other opioid receptors and so allow NOP-mediated responses to be studied in isolation. NOP agonists are being studied as treatments for heart failure and migraine while nociceptin antagonists such as JTC801 may have analgesic and antidepressant qualities. This article incorporates text from the United States National Library of Medicine, which is in the public domain. Thanks for watching.